this is your first time here in this channel it's all about educative stuffs so don't forget to subscribe ring that bell notification to get instant updates smash that like button hello guys welcome back to code for today we'll be learning about high and low level languages starting it off with a brief introduction about the chapter programmers use many different programming languages to communicate with the computers but computers only understand their own machine code so a program needs to be translated into machine code before it can be understood by a computer the major topics we'll be covering in this video are programs and programming languages translators syntax and logic errors ide integrated or interactive development environment first up we have program and programming languages so what is a program Program are a set of instructions that enable a computer to perform a specific task. What are programming languages? Computer programs are written in programming language. As we learned earlier, computers only understand low-level languages, that is, machine code. So, for a computer to understand, it has to be translated from high-level languages to the low-level languages. There are two types of programming languages, as I mentioned earlier, high and low level. First, high level languages. Programs are written in high level languages are easier to read and understand as it is closer to the human language, write in a shorter time and debug at development stage. Due to the various advantages, it is used by most programmers. Examples of common high level languages include java python c++ etc as given in the image below moving on we have low level languages first one of them is assembly languages some programmers use assembly languages because it allows them to use special hardware it allows to write code that performs the task very quickly and the code written does not take much space in the primary memory. It is used by few programmers because it is difficult to understand. Next, we have machine language. Programmers do not usually write in machine code because it is extremely difficult to understand. Moving on to the next topic, we have translators. As we already know, translator is a program that converts high level language to binary so that the computer can understand and use it. There are several types of translators. Each performs a different task. They are compilers, interpreters, and assemblers. We'll see them in detail in a bit. Before that, we have the image that shows high-level program being an input and the translator program process it, processes it and the output being the low level program so that the computer can understand and execute the program. So the first type of translator, compilers. Compilers translate a program in high level language to machine code. It produces a file of machine code that is executable. The compiled programs can be used without a compiler. The compiled program is usually distributed for general use. The image below summarizes this. Next, we have interpreters. An interpreter is a program that reads high level language and executes it line by line. No executable file of machine code is produced. Interpreter programs can't be used without an interpreter. Interpreter, interpreter is often used when a program is being developed. Finally, we have the assembler. The assembler is a program that translates assembly language into machine code so that it can be used by computers directly. Assembled programs can be used without the assemblers. An assembled program is usually distributed for general use and the executable file of machine code is produced. Moving on to the next topic, we have syntax and logic errors. Syntax errors. When a program is being compiled, if any syntax errors are found, no translated program is produced. Instead, a list of all the errors in the whole program is produced. The programmer corrects these errors and recompiles the program. 
When a program is being interpreted, the interpreter performs the action specified by the statement until a syntax error is found. The programmer is then alerted to the place in the program where the error was found. The error is corrected by the programmer and the interpretation continues until the next error is found on the task is completed. Then logic errors. When a program is being run and if it does not do what it should do, then there is a logic error. These can be found by tracing what the program does using test data with expected results. Moving on to the final topic, we have IDE, Integrated or Interactive Development Environment. Most high-level programming languages offer the use of IDE for program development. This contains an editor with an interpreter and or compiler together with debugging tools which can improve the speed of program development. The image below shows some examples of high-level languages that provide IDE. Thank you for watching guys.